In this video, you'll learn how to set up a captive portal for authentication types such as SLA, permanent users, and temporary users. Click the Wireless tab and select SSID Profiles. Click Add New SSID Profile or right-click on an existing network to edit its SSID profile. To create a captive portal for SLA, select SLA as the captive portal type. Click Create a Profile to create a user-defined terms of service. Key in the VLAN value. In this example, we use 20 as the VLAN value for guests. To create a captive portal for a permanent user, select Permanent User as the captive portal type. You can choose between Local User Database and Radius Server as your authentication server. Key in the VLAN value. In this example, we use 10 as the VLAN value for staff. To create a captive portal for a temporary user, select Temporary User as the captive portal type. Key in the VLAN value. In this example, we use 20 as the VLAN value for guests. To set up a billing profile for temporary users, click the Security tab. Select Billing Profile, then click on Add New Billing Profile. Complete the required fields. Then click Save. To create an account for a temporary user, go to the front desk URL. and navigate to the Billing Form tab, then select the profile you want to generate a ticket for. Click Generate to create the ticket. You can now print the ticket for the temporary user. And you're done.